It is championship day here at Triple Crown, day three. It's been a amazing weekend so far. Sam, it's championship day. Who are we watching? What are we doing? Yeah, so we just got to take a look at the first round of the championship bracket of the Elite Eight. So now we're going to see some really good teams go at it. So we got Mintonet versus TAV. And then we got a legacy versus a really talented sports performance team. So coming down to the final four, you know, we're really excited just for two more really high intense games before the finale. All right. So let's break down TAV in Mintonet. On Mintonet, you have Mallory Matheny and Layla Hoeing, two amazing players with the strongest connection. And we actually are talking with them in a little bit. And we are so excited to get to know their system more and their connection more. But I mean, they are unstoppable, but who stands out to you on TV? Yeah, I think you have a really talented right side setter with Danielle Whitmire, and then you have Layla Austin on the outside, and then you also have Kinsley Young as a middle blocker. So just a really physical team out there, and I think TV just a really well-known club, and they've just really represented that team really well. So I'm excited to see them compete against a talented Mintonet team. Yeah, for sure. And then you have sports performance first. Legacy, that's also going to be a <laughs> job. That's also going to be a top matchup to watch as well. And it'll be interesting to see who decides to come out on top at the end of the day. Yeah, I think obviously some really ta top talent in the Elite Eight, but we can't undermine, you know, the rest of the teams that Austin, Austin Skyline, Dallas Skyline, and just those teams that really got almost cut their journey cut short early and they didn't quite make it to the final bracket, but just really talented play throughout the weekend. And it's been so fun to watch these athletes continue to grow. One athlete we really saw yesterday just kind of grow into her own was Jaden Robinson. I think she's a really talented athlete who on a team of high talented players you know she maybe doesn't get as much recognition but I think coming forward after this tournament you know she's an athlete to watch and you know she's incredible and just growing the six rotation outside position I think she just really was successful yesterday yeah for sure I think the most exciting thing about this weekend is the level of competition in the gym and then who's going to take down who you know everyone wants to be number one everyone wants to come out with the crown and a win and a championship so I mean, it's been an amazing weekend and we are so excited to keep growing our content today and to keep watching who comes out on top. All right, good morning, everybody. We are back, uh, championship day, and a long day here, a long weekend here at Triple Crown so far, but the action is as hot today as ever, and I, speaking of hot, am joined by one of the hottest names in the class of 2026 right now, Jessica Smallwood, playing for Kiva, 2026 middle. Thank you for taking time. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, big first win this morning. Yes, yes. How did that go? It went good. Um, we could have had a lot, a lot more energy going into the game, but we played good, we finished well, and we stayed consistent with our skills, so... Well, and energy, I want to stay on that because I watched you yesterday, first time close up, and I love the communication and the energy that you play with. Something that middles don't always do. Is that something you pride yourself in? I actually, being a big communicator, I feel like that's a necessity in volleyball, especially as a middle, because you have to read the other team's defense. You have to know what you're running with your setter because you could be making a bunch of different plays, and it's just a big necessity, and I think middles need it more than ever. And the other thing, watching your game, you do a lot on the court. You're not simply there for a big block. You're not running just quick you're running different patterns your coach has you doing a lot of different things in the offense you feel like you have a lot of different skills that you bring to the table yeah I think I do have a lot of different skills I bring to the table and that wouldn't be possible without a setter who knows like what she's doing and what plays we're running so um, being able to spread our offense with me along with the other hitters and we're all very flexible at the net it helps a lot uh, to win games and like be successful We haven't talked to a lot of uh, 2027s this week, but uh, one of our special guests, because she's one of our biggest followers, right? So we always like to watch her. Uh, Marissa Jones, A5, MJ, as everybody calls her, Setter. Um, it's a tough loss to TAV right now, but how's the weekend been for your team 
with all this tough competition? Yeah, so, I mean, the competition here has been really good, and we're, we've been trying to use it to get better. We were trying to run more, like, slides, um, just practicing, being more consistent on the court, and just building our team chemistry. So how has that been? Um, is your team pretty much the same as last year? Do you have new pieces? I think about, like, half our team is new, so I think this tournament has been really good to help build our yeah. chemistry. Um, because like we have a new DS, a new middle, and like outside, so it's just been really useful. So uh, we got to talk at Phenom and the Final Four. Yeah. And I love just how big of a volleyball fan you are. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, you play volleyball. You're great at volleyball, but you love the sport of volleyball. What was great about the Final Four this year? Um, I mean, like the intensity about it. It was just crazy. Like. Just seeing all the big athletes just going at it, it was just so much fun to watch. And I think watching like Nebraska and Texas like pull it out, like it was just insane. Okay, we are back for day three of Triple Crown and with two really elite players out of Tribe Volleyball Club. So if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Gigi. Hi, I'm Beatrice. So now we're on day three of probably one of the most competitive tournaments of the year. Do you guys want to talk about how the experience has been over this weekend and then what, how high level of competition you guys have been playing? Um, I think it's been really fun and the competition we played have been like the best in the nation. So it's like every game is like a championship day game. Like it's really cool to like see everyone. And yeah, I think it's really fun. And like it's fun to see all my friends from like different teams. Yeah. Yeah, we came into this tournament knowing it's like one of the most competitive tournaments and I think we came in with the mindset of like staying humble, mm -hmm. knowing that we're going to play some insane teams mm -hmm. and I think that's, we played good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously you guys are on a high level team with high competition and you guys are some top prospects in your class. How do you prepare for a weekend like this? Um, I don't know. I don't really prepare. I just get excited and then like I get here and I just play. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I guess it's all about attitude and mindset. Just like, like I said, staying humble and preparing yourself because you know that there's so many people here watching you. Actually, oh sorry. I just, also, um, actually, I do prepare. I like before. <laughs> I changed my mind. I, I changed, changed my mind. I do. I promise. <laughs> before the game, I'm like, I just think like what I need to do in my job and like what my team needs. All right, uh, Championship Monday is winding down, but uh, on our way out the door, we caught up with one of our profile athletes, Elani Lawrence, OTVA 2026. Thanks for catching me on your way to the airport. No problem. <laughs> Talk about your weekend um, and your team kind of building and coming together a little bit. So um, this weekend we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, but I think we've come together more as a team and that we need to work on that a little bit more. But so far this weekend, I think, I think we looked, I think we looked good. We were, we were tough teams this weekend, so.